Hello everyone. In this video, I will discuss about the kingdom plantain. So without any delay, let's start the video. So first of all, what do you mean by the kingdom plantain? So R.H. Whitaker in 1969 gave the five kingdom classification of the organisms and this classification system includes five kingdoms which are monera which include bacteria then protists which include single cell organisms then fungi which includes uh, you can say yeast and fungus then plantae and animalia and in this video i will focus on the kingdom plantae so plantae kingdom it involves the plants means all the plants that are present on the earth they are under the kingdom plantae so these plants are multicellular and autotrophic means they are made up of many cells and autotrophic means they can make their food by their own so this video will focus on the kingdom plantae so the kingdom plantae can be subdivided into some groups like first thallophytes then bryophytes then pteridophytes and zymnosperms and finally the angiosperms so these are the five subdivisions of the kingdom plantae in the next slide i will discuss all of these subdivisions in detail so first is thallophytes so they do not have a well differentiated body but instead their body just thallus like so they include like volvo spirogyra eurythmix etc next bryophytes so these bryophytes these are a group of small plants which grow very close to their substrate the characteristics of bryophytes include like first they are very small and non vesicular plants means they do not have xylem and phloem or even they do not have true roots or stem the next they found in the moist and the shady places like forest swamp then they reproduce using spores to spread their dna they do not you can say they do not reproduce by any kind of uh, reproduction they just reproduce by the spore next there are three main groups of these bryophyte these are moshes which have the leafy appearance liver warts which are flat and the lobed shaped and horn warts which have horn shaped sporophyte next they are very crucial for the ecosystem because they prevent the soil erosion they also help in absorption of water and they also provide habitat for the animal so these are the certain characteristics of king this subdivision bryophyta next pteridophytes which include ferns so these pteridophytes or the fern they are vascular plant means they have xylem and phloem xylem, xylem is for the water and phloem for the food they reproduce by the spore instead of their seeds the reproduction is by the spores so the characteristics of this pteridophyta include like they are vascular plant as i told they contain xylem and phloem but they lack the seeds next they found in moist environment like in forest swamp areas they reproduce by releasing spores means they reproduce by the spores and they release their dna via wind or water and they have fronds means the leaf and rhizomes that is fronds that is leaves and rhizomes are the underground stems next zymnosperms which are also called as conifers so these conifers means they bear the cone they have cone like structure so these are the group of seed plants that reproduce by the naked seeds so their seeds are typically you can say their seeds are enclosed in the cones the characteristics of gymnosperm include like they reproduce by seeds which are stored in the cones so these cones they give protection to the seeds then the majority of these gymnosperm they are found in the northern latitude like canada usa sweden russia and china then they are found in very diverse habitat means they can found on the mountain in the forest and in the desert also then they are woody plants means they are vascular and they contain wood they include like trees and shrubs and their leaves are needle like or you can say their leaves are scale like or modified into scale like structure next angiosperm so these are the flowering plants these are the most diversified group of the plant on 
earth they are characterized by the reproduction or you can say they reproduce because they contain flowers and the flowers they contain the reproductive organ of these plants so this enable them to produce seeds which are enclosed in the fruit and if this fruit it protect and help in the dispersal of seeds so angiosperms are the flowering plant they contain flower so characteristics of angiosperm include first they are vesicular plant means they contain xylem and phloem and they produce seeds from the flower and these seeds flower they protect the uh, you can say these flowers they protect the seeds and also help in their dispersal next they are also found in the wide variety of habitat like in desert forest etc then they provide shelter and food for the wildlife because angiosperms they are the very diverse group so, so they also give shelter and food for the wild organisms then there are the two major group of these angiosperms that is monocot and dicot monocots they have a parallel leaf vein and they have you can say single seed leaf so example include grasses lilies orchids etc then dicots they have a net leaf vein and they have a two seed leaves so example of dicot include like roses maple sunflower etc so this is all about the kingdom planty so this was a short video on the kingdom planty hope you like the video guys see you in the next video till then thank you very much